Welcome users. This video is about a game called Sombatron, released on Steam. And why it's so damn good. Well, the game is your typical Doom-like lure shooter with some puzzle elements in 2D, with art style seemingly suggesting easy gameplay. So, what's unique about it? Well, it has a very deceptively simple art style, but hidden underneath are some solid mechanics and meticulously designed enemies with puzzle elements planted everywhere. But the thing is, this game was already out. This is a remake of a game released on 12th July 2011 on platforms like Armor Games and Congregate almost 9 years ago. It was released with sturdy mechanics and a seemingly obsolete plotline. As you can see, the design even back then was pretty good. And this, along with positive response from players, promoted it to a remake as a PC game. Now, instead of 10 levels with the last one being a boss fight, it has a total of 34 levels plus 5 boss stages laid in between, offering a whopping 8 hours of gameplay. What's the story like? Well, it is there, for starters. <laughs> and it is very easy to follow through. Your mission, which you have to accept it, is to escape from this planet you have crash landed in while trying to take a general survey of the surroundings you learn of the vicious race of zombie aliens. After purifying the surroundings, you come back to find out that someone stole your spaceship batteries. Driven with fury, you blast through a boss to meet these peaceful race of aliens. They can communicate with you and don't attack you, so I guess we won't kill them. Now you fight through Spider-Man, Dominator Gone Wrong and Golem, along with new species of aliens and some mining robots, cause why not. We also make a questionable ally. And then we finally come across the thief. Species? Okay, well, guess they all have to die. We head on to their base to remind them that Lord Jesus died for their sins. This all ends with a badass final boss fight and an even more badass drive to arrive back at your shuttle to say goodbye to this planet forever and ever. Nope, your shuttle is in shambles. And now, I'm waiting for a sequel. Now, the 2D movement system is very fluid. With smooth jump heights, the shooting is fairly easy to grasp along with basic functions like reloading, milling and switching weapons. You also have a storage system, which counts every everything you carry, including your equipment. It cannot be enlarged, and I love that. This forces the players to make some pretty hard choices. Also, the weapons and equipments all have grades from common to legendary. There are pistols, assault rifles, machine guns, and so many more. But where can they be found? Well, they are strewn all across the map. You can find some when after defeating an enemy. The good ones are in crates though, and the amazing ones are hidden in secret locations. Of course, if you didn't like the exploration part, you can just buy some from the shop from time to time. These will be of lower quality though, be warned. There are also a lot of enemy types introduced at a steady pace, with their attack range and weaknesses showcased or implied. The stages will get increasingly challenging, and traps force you in a corner very frequently. The goals of each map are clearly laid out, and I love the fact that exploration will provide you with hefty rewards 
Now some people might think that this alone may lead to a bland experience and fear not because there are two more types of missions you can play. The first one is driving with a machine gun with a machine gun with unlimited ammo and the second one is to escort a questionable ally across the map. Now these were the pros and uh, if you like what you have heard so far then please check the game out link in the description below. Now we are coming to the flaws or the cons. Although minor, I believe it's better to list them out. The secret locations for starters are not tricky to find, but destroying certain objects lead you to never be able to access it unless you restart the level or replay the game. Hence a guide to every completionist out there. Of every secret location there will be in this game. Attached below in the descriptions, made by a guy called Gwen Ulrich. If you are new to the genre of resource management, be very careful. Due to the lack of resources, you will land into very tricky situations, resorting to cowardly. <clears throat> Smart play. Because I speak from experience. A level started with me being low on health, no health packs, and decent equipment. The weapons were up to par with not a lot of ammo. After a couple of tries though, it was fairly simple to traverse across. Also some boss fights might be a lad down if you figured out the correct strategies and patterns. These don't exactly have a challenging second phase, but they are just too of the five bosses you will face. Apart from this, there isn't much to nag about. If you like what you heard so far, then please do subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment down below if you're stuck on any of these levels. Also, above all else, have a great day.